I can never hit uh, LA or Los Angeles Rams or anybody on that team. Um, it's a competitive sport. You know, I, um, I love my brother, um, my little brother Vince Miller. I love my brother, but you know, when it's time to compete, I want to win. <laughs> you know, I want to win, and that's just that's just how I feel about it. Um, You've been playing this. I've been playing this game for so long, uh, twelve years in the league, four years in college. You build up a lot of relationships around the league. Um, just because I got a lot of friends and a lot of colleagues around the league, I I still want to go out there and win. And um, that's where my mindset is, is at this week. I, I love those guys. You know, it just be it'd be like me playing against my brothers. Um, they came and 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 got me at a time where. You know, I really needed. I really needed that. You know, they refreshed me when they when I got traded to the Los Angeles Rams. Um, I got to rush with Aaron Donald and 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 Leonard Floyd and Greg Gaines and Jalen Ramsey in the back and you know Coach uh, McVay and Les Snead. They so easy going and all they really care about is 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 wins and Reggie Scott and Mark and the training room and and all the the equipment managers Berg and the, and uh, and uh, uh, the training staff. The, the, you know the. Um, the strength and conditioning coaches that that really poured into me and, want, and wanted me uh, to be successful, you know, I, you can never erase that. You know, and um, I love those guys for that. We won Super Bowl Fifty Six, and that'll always be there. Those will always be my teammates. But at the same time, you know, I'm on the Buffalo Bills now, and I want to create some of those same memories with my new teammates now. And you know, it's a it's a weird feeling. You know, the NFL is just so messy. You know, playing the I'm playing the Super Bowl, and my first game back is right there with a new team, and um, that's what the fans want to see. And you know, of course, there'd be some emotions there. Of course, you, you know, um, I respect Aaron Donald and all those guys so much. It's like, we're like, what could I say? You know, it's, it was no reason for me to leave. You know, I just, you know, felt like this was my place to be. And, you know, whenever you leave on those terms, it's always going to be uh, some weird feelings. But at the end of the day, man, those are those are my brothers, and I know they feel the same about me. And, and, and now that you've worked for, like, four, four or five months, how long it was since you signed, and you said, like, why am I leaving L.A. and all this stuff? But as you look at the fan reaction, as you look at what this team is like, and as you look at being on the day and congrats on being you know, named the captain, how much have you moved forward in, in, in having invested yourself in, in Buffalo, the fan base, and this team? You know, when I, when I came here to sign my contract after I agreed to uh, be a Buffalo Bill on the 16th before I hit the next day, and I was uh, I was talking to Coach McDermott, and I was talking to, you know, uh, talking to Eric Washington and, and Coach Frazier, and, you know, they were telling me, like, because, you know, I was kind of, you know, hesitant at first, you know, of course, I, you know, I was just wanting to be sure of the decision I was making, and, you know, Coach McDermott, I still remember it, like it was just that Coach McDermott said, you know, it's, it's Buffalo, I, I know it doesn't have, like, the optics, but you will you will learn to love this place. Like, this place will grow on you, and you'll love this place. And, um, you know, when he said it, you know, I just thought it was part of the recruiting pitch. But, you know, being in, being here in Western New York and being at home and, you know, being around the fans and, you know, going to the local restaurants here and go, being around the people and, you know, being a member at, at Orchard Park Country Club and, and, and Cragburn Country Club, you, you know, I – I just feel at home, and I, I'm I've, I've fallen in love with this place, and it just gets better and better each and every day. And um, this is a place that I'm in love with, and it's it's just not starting off. It's in that honeymoon phase where you're like, man, great team, you know, great organization, uh, great teammates, uh, great uh, you know fans around the place, and you know it's just it's just something that grows on you. Of course, we don't have the the big shiny new stadium or the big or the fancy five star restaurants or the clubs or. You know anything like that 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 LA has, but I think they make up for it with just genuine people. You know they truly care about you, they truly care about your well-being. You know my my neighbors in my neighborhood. I had a guy call me the other day and he's like, "Hey, you left your garage door open." You know it's just they just they just I just genuinely feel like they care and um, I, I, they care about me being successful. They care about the team being successful, and that really makes up for all the stuff that this town lacks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't. That that that, was, that came and went like just it's just little things like that from you saying stuff about toilet paper and they just take it over the top. It's little things like that that really make you fall in love with the people here in Western New York. Yeah, I do. You see some of these contracts? It's crazy. <laughs> no, I mean I just uh, uh, quarterback and football is probably. One of the, um, it's, it's it's probably one of the marquee positions in all of sports. You know, you guys want to be quarterbacks. You know, um, 
You know, you got basketball, you got you got the guards and the centers, and you got soccer, and you got strikers and all this stuff. But the quarterback position is just is it is the position in all of sports. You know, if you're a great quarterback, man, you're you you one of the greatest uh, you know sports figures in, in all the sports, man. I always wanted to be a quarterback. You know, God had different plans for me, but I still feel like I have like that that mindset. Um, I like being around quarterbacks. I like being around Peyton Manning. I like being around Josh Allen. I like being around uh, Matthew Stafford, um, Kirk, uh, not, uh, but Matt Barkley and, and Case Keenum. I like being around those guys. I like playing golf. I like playing golf with those guys. I like you know playing cards. I still feel like you know I'm one of the quarterbacks. I'm just chasing them on game day. <laughs> I have a pretty good quarterback in Stafford. Kind of what do you think of the keys to trying to keep the rep contained? Contained? You know, it's, it's, you know, whenever you're going against good teams like this with great players like Matthew Stafford, Cooper Cup, um, Aaron Donald, um, Jalen Ramsey, whenever you're going against, you know, great teams and great pe- great coaches like Coach McVay and, you know, all the great elite players that they have, you know, it's not realistic to go in the game thinking that we're going to shut everybody out. You know, I always like to have a neutral mindset. I like to have a realistic mindset and a positive mindset at the same time. And they're going to make plays. We just got to make one more play than them. You know, we got to have one more point than them on the scoreboard. We just got to find a way to win the game. Of course they're going to, of course they're going to make plays. Of course they got great players. I, you know, I, I couldn't sit up here and, and say, like, anything less than that. You know, it's, it's been time tested. It's Aaron Donald and – and Jalen Ramsey and Coach McVay, like they, they are the top at their positions. At everything that they do, they're gonna make plays. We just gotta find a way to make our plays. We gotta find a way to win the game. And when the clock is zero zero, we gotta find a way to to be on top whenever it's all said and done. Center, Tom, um, people would ask, like, well, what could you tell Josh and the offense about playing against him? Like, there's some secret. What what would your advice be if they were? It's nothing. <laughs> There is no secret. It's, it's like uh, there's nothing I can say. Like there is no uh, there is no weakness. Like I can't sit here and say like, well, if you do this, you it, it's Aaron Donald. He's the, the great, the greatest football player that I've ever played with, um, and he's one of the greatest football players that ever played this game. And that's that's counting all the greats and all the the football guys that have come through here. Aaron Donald is one of those. It, there's nothing that I can say. You know, I'll be setting him up for failure if I if I tell him like, if you just do this. You know, you'll be all right. Like he's he's good at everything. Um, these guys are great. We got we got Josh Allen. we got Josh Allen. We got our great players too. You know, like I said, Aaron Donald, he's gonna make plays. Like we just gotta find ways to make just one more play more than those guys. What have you learned? What have you learned about your team? Now you've been embedded with them since you started camp. About the metal of this team and their ability to handle the expectations that you guys have on Yeah, you know, I, I've always said pressure is a privilege. But here you just – I think we're all following, you know, Josh Josh Allen's lead. Like, you know, he's he's one of the best quarterbacks in the league, if not the best. And, you know, he comes into work and you could, he just has his aura about him. Like, and it's not a it's not an overly confident thing. It's not like I feel like I'm this and that. You can just – you just look in his eyes and you can tell he's at peace with his game. You can tell that um, he's comfortable with where he's at. He's not uh, – his confidence is where he needs to be at. He's not shying away from, you know, the pressure. You know, he's just going through it. He doesn't take anything serious. You know, I think he depends on his guys. He, he depends on Diggs, and he depends on, on Gabe, and he depends on his offensive line. But Josh Allen, the confidence is there. We know he's going to perform. We know he's going to do well. And this stage is not too big for him, and I think everybody else just follows that lead. You know, with all the pressure that's that's on Josh to be great, on his team to be great, I think he just comes in every day and he just takes it one day at a time, and we all just follow his lead. His his mentality and his personality really just seeps on everybody else, coaches included. The atmosphere. How do you anticipate that to be like Thursday? How unique is the situation you're going to be in, wearing the Bills here and watching the banner go? Yeah, I've I've always been a big fan of. Uh, you know, visualizing, um, you know, a situation I'm about to play in. Well, that could be a Super Bowl. That could be this game. Any game or any situation I'm, I'm, I'm going to be in. It, of course, it might be different than what I realize, but if it just happens to be the same, this will be my second time through it. And we all know, um, you know, repetition is the father of learning. So I've, I've envisioned it. I've, I've thought about it. You know, I thought about, like, man, what I'm going to say to, to Aaron Donald in, in, in warm-ups, pregame. I thought about, like, dang, is, is, is Coach McVay going to look at me crazy, like, before the game? Like, and if he does, like, how do I react to that? Like, 
what if I try to talk to the guy before the game? He doesn't want to talk to me. Like, you know, what if the fans boo me? What if the fans cheer me? You know, I've, I've, I've already thought about all of these different things. When it comes game day, I'm so locked in and me trying to be the best player that I can be for the Buffalo Bills. And that's where my mindset, that's where my mindset, that's where my, my mentality would be. I'm, I am trying to be the best Von Miller for my guys here. I've, I've won a Super Bowl with those guys and, you know, they've earned my respect and I've earned their respect and now I'm on a new team and I'm trying to do those same things with, with my colleagues here. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. And you do I'm that barely, on purpose? I'm barely warning it. Like, you know, I, I've always been, um, you know, I, I never wanted to be one of the guys that just wear my Super Bowl ring each and every day. And no disrespect to, to anybody, a Super Bowl ring is a Super Bowl ring. But when I see, like, I don't want that to be the biggest moment in my career. You know, I want to create other big moments. I want to create other moments that are just the same. So, I wear my Super Bowl rings whenever they ask me to bring them up here. I, you know, I, but other than that, like, it's locked up and it's done. My um, my Broncos ring, I didn't bring it out um, the safe until the ring ceremony with the Rams. Like, so it's just it's just something that you have, and I feel like that when you wear it every single day, it just kind of takes away that that um, it just takes away how special it really is and how special that moment was for me. Even though it is a, a special moment, I don't want to. I don't want that to be my determining moment in my career. I want to make other moments just like that, and that's why I, I keep them locked up, and I just I put them away, and I just keep going. Last one for Vaughn. To get that next step over the hump year, to get those guys the same thing. You know, every team is different. Um, you know, every quarterback is different. Every defense is different. Um, but there are a lot of similarities in great teams. you got to have a great locker room. you you got to have a player-led uh, group. Um, the priority has to be winning. And um, whenever you come out, whenever you come out here, you have to have a purpose. You can never be an autopilot. And the great teams that I've been on, that's 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 what it's been. And I, I, I don't know what the message. If I had a secret thing to tell the teams, and you go out there and like win, that's I would say that every single day. But I think uh, part of being a great leader is you got to really figure out. You got to really figure out your teammates. You got to you got to earn their respect and earn their trust, and likewise and vice versa. You know, you got to love on your guys. You gotta know their kids. You gotta know they went, where they went to high school. You gotta you gotta know their. Do they like video games? What foods are they allergic to? You gotta really do a deep dive into your teammates. And once you get to that point, you know exactly what to say to these guys. You know exactly what's gonna bring the most out of the guys that you're going out there to play with. And um, so right now, I I really don't know. But as the season goes on, as we play, you know, I'm sure we have the words. Uh, I have the words to say to these guys to to get these guys going. Appreciate you guys.